Hello everybody, and I'm Chase, and I'm back with a new video. Today, I would like to talk a little bit about programming. So, we want to be able to use this brand new robot we've made. And so, I think some uh, pretty easy things will be uh, how to move it first. So, let's talk about that. So, once you've downloaded the programming software from the link below, you will be on this screen. And so you'll want to be able to make a new project so you can start right into it. So to make a new project, you'll click on New Project, New Program, and then New Program again, and Open. That'll open up a new program, and you'll be ready to start programming. So there's a lot of different tabs down here with different blocks. And some of them are pretty complicated. But first, we'll start off with just moving the robot. Move steering is one of the easiest blocks to use. When you built your robot, you should put your motors, your left motor into the B port and your right motor into the C port. When you do that, it makes it a lot easier because the programming software will automatically default to putting those letters in. Now, there's many different ways of moving but for now we're going to use move steering. The rotations is how many rotations of the motor. So one rotation would be one full circle of your wheel. But two rotations would be two full rotations of the wheel. Power is how fast your motor is going. If it's going fast, it could be 100 which is the maximum speed it can go. And you can also reverse power and make it negative. Negative power means your motor will be going backwards. But let's leave it at 100 for now. Steering, since this is the move steering block, is a very easy tool to move your robot and turn it. Zero will be your robot going straight. If it's positive 100, it'll turn to the right, and if it's negative 100, it'll turn to the left. You can also make it turn less dramatic if you set it to uh, any number in between. There are other types you can use this block for, such as off, which will make your motor stop moving, on, which will turn your motors on and tell you later tell them to stop moving. On for seconds means, based on power and the amount of seconds it's running, it will make it go as far as it can. So if it's on for three seconds, it'll go. It'll turn the motors on for three seconds. The power will determine how fa far it goes in those three seconds. Degrees is like rotations, but instead of one rotation, you have 360 degrees, which is equal to the same amount of movement. 360 degrees would equal one rotation. 90 degrees would be a quarter of a rotation. All right, so now that we've learned how to program a little bit, and we know what the blocks do, let's see if we can make our robot move. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do after making your program is get this cable this USB cable out of the box for your EV3 and you're going to want to plug it into your EV3. One side of it goes into this PC port right here, the small end, and the big end goes into your computer. So once your robot is turned on and plugged into your computer, you will be able to download your program into the software. So. Down here in the bottom right of our programming software should be your EV3 in this top tab here. If it's not selected, then it won't download into your robot. You can also connect it some other ways, but using the USB cable is the most reliable. I've had some issues with the Bluetooth connection before, and it's also kind of difficult to set up, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. I suggest using the USB cable. In port view, you can see what motors and sensors are plugged into your robot at the time. If something's not behaving correctly, you might want to make sure it's plugged in 
as well as being able to reset motors. See how if I move a motor, it will add degrees onto this. And if I click on here, it shall reset the value. So you can make sure it moves the right amount. If you leave it plugged in, you can see how far your robot moves. And you can also see the other information, such as a memory browser, which will be helpful if you put a lot of programs on your robot and it's starting to run out of memory. You can delete some old ones a lot easier than looking at the screen of it. So let's down our, download our program. So if our robot moves five rotations, it should go pretty far. Make sure not to do this on a desk with a ledge pretty close. Maybe try it on the floor. You don't want it to roll off. Over here, we have three different buttons. We have download, download and run, and run selected. If you have something selected on here, like a single block, and you want to make sure how so far something moves, you can click a block and have it run selected. You, if you uh, click download and run, if you have a Bluetooth connection set up, you can click download and run, and it will download it and immediately run the program. And if you click download, it will download the program directly into your robot, and you can select the program later. Before we do anything else, I'm going to save this program and save it as my first program. And then the program, I'm going to name whatever I want. Uh, move Robot. Then I'll save it again. I'll go over here and I'll hit download. And once you hear the sound play, you are free to disconnect your robot and off to see it run. So when you go into your EV3, you'll want to go over to the second tab over, go into your folder, and then select your program, hit the center button, and watch it run. So next, after you've made your robot go straight for a little while, you might want it to turn, or whatever else you want it to do. So next we'll look at making your robot move and turn after doing that. So if I add another move steering block, which you just uh, drag another one up here, let's make our robot turn to the right. So if I have my code turn a little bit to the right here, I only want to make it turn a little ways, but I want it to be kind of dramatic. So I'm going to make it turn a little sharper. Turning this to a higher power will make it turn sharper. I'm going to set it for two rotations because I'm not entirely sure how far I want it to go. And I'm going to leave it at 50 power because we don't want it to move too far, too fast. After I save, I'll plug my robot back in. And once it connects down here, I will be able to download my program into it. Now, if you select your program again with the new addition, it should go forward and spin around a few times, depending on how far you made it go. In future videos, I'll make more content on how to use the rest of the blocks down here, as well as other ones on the other tabs, such as flow control, sensor blocks, data operations, and the advanced blocks. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.